It's early morning in the painted dog paddock. Mum Kamana and Dad Veal are in charge of one of the zoo's biggest families. I'm sure having one teenager for most parents is enough, but having seven, it would be pretty hard work for them. With seven teenage pups, breakfast can be chaos. Hey, puppies! When it comes to food, Kamana and Veal just wait for them to have it and they can't really get in there at the moment. You can see they always want what everyone else has got, in case someone else has got something better. Kamana and Veal have been really great parents since the very start and have coped really well so far with all these pups, but now they've become teenagers. They are nowhere near as well behaved as they were. They don't do everything mum and dad say now. They're really bullshy. There's lots of scrapping and, and screaming at each other during the feeds. It's just all hell breaks loose. Last year, the pups were no trouble at all. But now they're growing up, mum and dad are struggling to keep them in line. The painted dogs are nothing like domestic dogs. They've got a real wild streak in them. The pups are getting really big now. They're not that far off the size of their parents. They are becoming quite strong, forceful characters within the group. And they're really uh, testing boundaries and just seeing what they're capable of. With the pups proving such a handful, Mum Kamana and Dad Veal have to work together. Kamana and Veal definitely need each other to be strong enough to keep that pack in order. I think maybe if it was just one parent, it'd be too overwhelming for them. They'd probably be overtaken by those pups. But keeping order is especially tough for Mum Kamana, who suffers from an old injury to her front leg. When we first bought in the painted dogs, there was quite a lot of aggression and Kamana actually received a bite to her wrist joint of her front leg. It went right through the joint. She has a bit of an on-off limp. If Kamana is seen to be vulnerable, her own pups could turn on her. As they get older, we could see pups challenging Kamana for position. It's a risk, but if they think they can do it, then they'll try. It's a bit of Game of Thrones. If Kamana's injury was to become an obvious weakness and the pups, the teenage pups, actually do start to uh, take advantage of that situation, uh, they could become really quite pushy towards her, try and become very dominant over her, and it could really mess the pack dynamic up. Mum Kamana will need Dad Veal's support as the pups grow stronger. I'd like to think that Veal would always have Kamana's back. The two of them are a really good parenting duo, and I don't think they would take too much from the pups everything should be fine. It's dinner time for the painted dogs. And Kamana and Veal's seven teenage puppies are ravenous. Keepers have decided the vets need to look at Kamana's old injury before the pups grow any bigger. Now is the right time to do a bit further investigation into Kamana's injury because the pups are older and we still can see symptoms. There's still a bit of swelling, still some lameness every now and again. We wanted to just investigate a bit further and now was the time to do it. But this will leave Veal on his own to look after all of the children. There is going to be a vulnerability for Veal when Kamana's not there. Veal's on his own, he's got all those pups to manage. Kamana is separated from Veal and the pups. It's actually quite a difficult procedure because she's part of a big group. She's got a load of puppies and when they get separated they become very, very stressed very, very quickly. So we have to be really fast. I'll just get the dart ready. 
so we're going to have to use the blowpipe this morning to dart Kamana because she's a bit too feisty to hand inject her and using a, a dart rifle is probably a bit too harsh. So hopefully I've got enough puff to get a good shot. We never like sedating our animals because any animal that goes into an anaesthetic, there's a huge risk. Um, they, they can stop breathing, their hearts can stop, they can die. So you always worry. Kamana's sister died under anaesthetic. How are you doing, HP? You happy? No. What are you not happy about? Very low blood pressure. <laughs> OK, I want to be out of here an hour. OK. OK, we have to be really fast. There is reduced movement in the joint. It doesn't extend, but this one extends yeah. nicely. This one stops here. OK, I'm happy to take some x-rays. On the positive side, it doesn't look like there's any infection. But she's certainly got some degree of arthritis in there. We're going to have to think about how we're going to be able to manage that over the, the coming months and years. We're at over 45 minutes now. The examination is now complete, but Kamana needs to come round from the anaesthetic. The longer she's away from her pups, the more likely it is they will overpower veal. He's just getting up now. Painted dog Kamana has been under anaesthetic so the vet team could examine an old injury to her leg. Keepers want to reunite her with Veal and their pups as soon as possible. But they can't until she's fully recovered. We wanted to judge Kamana's reaction and see like, really how alert was she. We started off by letting some of the pups into the dens next to her, and we have like a mesh um, slide where they can see each other and smell each other, but they just can't actually get to each other. Every time we introduce a dog back into the pack, we always worry that there might be some aggression, that the other dogs wonder where this other dog's been, and it might have some funny smells on it because it's had a veterinary procedure, and they could actually attack the dog. Taking a dog out of the group and putting it back in can be really quite dangerous for the animal that you're introducing back in. And you could find that even her pups could turn on her. Kamana could be attacked, she could be seriously injured, she could even be killed. It's always concerning, it's something that you really take seriously. Now fully alert, Kamana is released back into the paddock. But it worked out. In this orchard, they started greeting straight away. All the pups were around her and squealing and really happy to see Mum again, and Veal was there too. So I couldn't have asked for anything better, really. It was really nice to see them all greeting her. I think Veal was probably pretty relieved that she was back and that she was OK and he had his um, other parent, his, his wingman, if you like, um, to, to help him rule this little unruly pack of teenagers. <laughs> Keepers will now be able to treat Kamana's arthritic leg, and she and Veal can get back to sharing the parenting duties. They have got a tough job being parents to a pack of unruly pups. If they didn't have each other, they wouldn't be able to do it. It would just be too much hard work. The pups would just completely take over. They just couldn't do it without each other. 